So I've been following the Sega Genesis Mini News quite closely, but there's actually something pretty big that slipped through my grasp and I didn't even realize it. And it's kind of neat, but at the same time, it kind of sucks, especially for people who have got to have them all. I remember with the NES and the Super Nintendo Mini, there were people who had to have every region's version, even if it shared the same games. It was like, get the European version, the Japanese, and the US release, even though the European and the US had the same games. That's how I thought it was with the, the Sega Genesis Mini or Mega Drive Mini. The Western releases, the US and Europeans, same games, just different packaging. But there's going to be people who are, you know, they seek that out. So three versions, but two game lists. Actually, I was quite wrong. There's actually four versions with three different game lists. One of them has some exclusive games. Actually, the Japanese one has exclusive region games as well. But there's another region that I didn't even realize that has its own region specific games as well that no other region is getting. Not Japan, not the US, and not Europe. And I was like, what? Because if you're looking right here, I'm, I've am i been messing with this Blast 16 uh, image for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm using the Pi 3B Plus. It does work in the Pi 3 as well. This will be a whole other video at another time. I'm gonna do a tutorial on building this. But what I was doing was, is working on making my own Sega Genesis Mini, as you see here. I'm using the Retrobit controllers. Um, setting this thing up with all the region's games, the Japanese and the, the, the US release. I was like, just so I can have something to mess around with, really dig in this front end and have like an all-in-one Mega Drive Sega Genesis Mini, right? But if you <laughs> if you look, you probably already noticed I have a, a couple games on here that they're not on the, the Japanese or the US or European version. So there is actually another area that's getting a specific setup. And that, my friends, is gonna be an Asian released version of the Mega Drive. They are getting five unique games to their console and some pretty neat stuff. If you ever go and play Asia, a lot of times they release games and consoles and there'll be multiple regions, US, uh, Japan, Europe, and then sometimes an Asian, like a Southeast Asian release. And you could always tell, they'll say, they'll say Asia um, on the listing. It'll say Japan or have the Japanese flag, and that'll be the Japanese release. You don't confuse the Japanese and the Asian releases because they're quite different a lot of times. And with Play Asia, a lot of times they release games in the, the Southeast Asian or the Asian versions, like how this states, they'll release games physical in Asia that aren't released in the U.S., and they'll have English options on it. So that's kind of a whole other thing. But if you ever look at Play Asia, Asia, Japan, two different regions there. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, completely different for the same thing. At times, not always, but, you know, one might have English, the other won't, that kind of thing. As you see, they'll have like the Japanese flag for the Japanese U.S. for U.S. product. Pretty cool little website. But yeah, looking at this list, they've had their sets I'm not sure if there's been announcements the same as us in Japan. If they have been, it seems like it because there's different sets, just like how they were announced with us. But this kind of went under the radar to me because when you look at the first set, you'll notice there's a game that wasn't announced for any other, other region. Same thing with each set. There's games that were announced that were not on any of the previous versions. So... If you look at uh, Nintendo Life, they do have the complete lists for every region. Uh, the Mega Drive Mini complete Western game list. And you can see what are the region specifics. So in the West, US and Europe, the, the exclusives for us are going to be Alex Kidd and Enchanted Castle, Altered Beast, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, which like they say, it's not really an exclusive. It's just a reskin of Poyo Poyo. Uh, Earthworm Jim, Echo the Dolphin, Eternal Champions, Kid Chameleon, Light Crusader, Shinobi 3, Return of the Ninja Master, Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball. I, uh, that's one that I really wish would have been swapped out with something else, but that's all good. I'm tired of Sonic Spinball. It is what it is. Toe Jam and Earl, Vector Man. I'm not a fan of Vector Man either. I know there's a following for it, and it is a unique game, but man, some of these games. I, I, I should probably do something where, like, I, I think I saw John Hancock earlier release a video talking about what games he would have swapped out and for what he would have put in instead. That was a good idea because I could think of a few myself as well. And then Virtual Fighter 2, why'd we get that? 
my God, it's it. Uh, OK, whatever. Right. So those are the region specific ones. Those are the ones that we're getting in the U.S. and Europe that no other region is getting. Right. And then the other games are all going to be shared, even if they're named differently. It's still the same game. So then in Japan, their region exclusives are going to be Dyna Brothers 2, Lord Monarch, Madao, Monogatari. I'm not Japanese, so I can't say these names properly. Don't attack me. Oh, my God. You didn't say that right. No crap, dude. I'm not Japanese. Leave me the hell alone. Rent a Hero, the hybrid front. I got to find out if there's an English translation of hybrid front. Because I was trying to play that earlier. And I was like, this is kind of unique. This is neat. This is something I would be into. But I can't read Japanese. I got to look that up. Yu Yu Hakusho, Makyao, To Titisen, whatever, man. I mean, there's an English translation of that. I've played the game. Assault Suit Lanus, which is, or Lanos, whatever you want to call it. Japan and Asia. What? Uh, game No Kenzumi, Otakoyu, it's a, a Sega Channel compilation. Uh, Langreiser 2, Musha, bastards. We should have got that. Wrestle Ball or Power Ball. It was released Power Ball elsewhere. Uh, Poyo Poyo 2, Puzzle and Action Tantar, Slap Fight, and Snow Bros. <sighs> I wish Snow Bros was on our version. Damn it. The Revenge of Shinobi, the Super Shinobi. So those are the region-specific ones for Japan. I believe it's like 16 titles, something like that, right? And then you scroll down on their article. They do have the same information that Play Asia has, but they do have it listed as region-specific. Makes it a little easier to figure it out. They get Alien Soldier, Poyo Poyo, which is like, mm, okay, whatever. You get Poyo Poyo and Poyo Poyo 2 on your system. All right. It is what it is. Outrun 2019. Love it or hate it. I, I hear a lot of people don't like that game, but hey, kind of neat. Shining Force 2, like what the hell? That was released in other regions. Why couldn't we get it? We got Shining Force 1. So do they get Shining Force 1 and 2? Yeah, they do. What the hell? And then Sword of Vermilion, which is like one of the first RPGs released on the Sega Genesis. Has a little cult following. Also has people that are like, meh, it's not that great of a game. Then you have people that are like, dude, this game was amazing for the time. It's one I've never played, but I've been exposed to. I'm familiar with it. But regardless of there being, you know, a split fan base, like people who just really love it and other Sega fans are like, eh, whatever. Um, I still want to play it. So at some point I'm going to play that. But that's kind of neat. They get five additional games. Not additional, but exclusive. So for collectors out there, you guys are going to have a hard time, man. You're going to be buying four versions this time instead of three. For the people who collected like the Super Nintendo and, and the, the NES, you, you kind of just did uh, the Japanese release, the U.S., and the European release, and that was it. You were set. You were in it to win it. Not this time, man. You can be doing that. And, you know, and then like the Japanese version, I pre-ordered mine the other day uh, through Amazon Japan, being sold through Amazon Japan. The price now, they like sold out, like almost like right after I pre-ordered it. I was like, holy crap, because I really wanted it for Snow Bros and to get the six button controllers and just have this whole setup. I thought it was unique. I was like, OK, I'm going to have the Sega Genesis, but let me get the Mega Drive as well. Just, you know, as a, a, a collector standpoint type of thing, I thought it was neat and it has some games I wanted to mess around with that you can play. It doesn't matter Jap Japanese or English. You could still play them. Snow Brothers is one of them. Um, but, yeah, the price went crazy on this. And then they also, I did pre-order this as well, the uh, the freaking uh, Tower of Plastic, the Tower of Power there. Um, that thing, too, sold out, and now people are charging more than double. 28 new from 9,987 yen. The original price was like 40,000, like it was like 38,000, something like that. So now it's just scalpers, resellers selling these things. I wonder if this sold out, because I pre-ordered this as well. Um... No, it's 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 still in stock. I pre-ordered the little case. I just thought it was kind of neat. Hopefully, we get stuff like that in the U.S. as well. Um, I just I was like I want I want you know except for the uh, I don't know if they have it listed here, but like the power supply. I'm like I don't care. I don't want the little 16 bit power supply. But I did want to get a complete setup of everything that's being offered in Japan, just because I thought it was neat. But seeing this Asian version, there's no freaking way. I'm not even bothering the allocation that Play Asia had. Looks like they've they've all sold out, so it's going to be a bitch trying to get these. I'm sure at some point you'll find them on eBay uh, and other regions reselling them, stuff like that. 
if these things are like crazily mass produced, the value on them is not going to, you know, as far as a collector standpoint, I wouldn't recommend buying these things because they're going to be worth money. They're still available for pre-order in the U.S. and Europe and Japan. I don't live there, so I don't know for sure. I know Amazon sold out right now, but I'm sure there are other places that possibly still have them. But I wouldn't buy any of these with the thought that you're going to make money off of them. You know what I mean? If you do, that's up to you. But, you know, the Nintendo stuff, the pre-order sold out right away. The Sega Genesis stuff, the Mega Drive stuff. Other than that, those listings on the Japanese Amazon, these things have been up for pre-order for a minute. Other than that little Tower of Power thing. So there's going to be a ton of these out there. Uh, and it's just interesting. I just wanted to do this video real quick because I thought it was kind of kind of different seeing that there's this whole other setup. You know, them getting Shining Force 2 while we just get Shining Force 1. Like, come on, man. Like, what else? We'll be highlighting this this image. I'll be taking a look at this in a video. Maybe a live stream. I almost did a live stream instead just to share this with you guys. Poyo Poyo 1. Like, what, OutRun 2019? You know, they're, they're getting a handful of different games. And it's like, that's why I'm doing this image, is putting, like, all the region-specific stuff all together to have everything that's being released out there on one build. Like, I thought that was kind of cool with all the artwork and, and whatnot. And these, you know, they play very well on this build. Um, so there we have it. Just wanted to share this with you guys, talk about it a little bit. Let me know, are you one of the, the collectors out there that got to have all of them? Are you going to be trying to get this Asian-specific release? The Japanese ones only in Japan. All other Asian countries are going to be getting this other one with those five region-specific games. I'm staying away from it. I think I'm, I mean, I'm really happy with the U.S. version other than a handful of games. Heck of a lot better lineup than what we saw with the PlayStation Classic. So that's very sweet. With M2 being involved, all the cool stuff going on. Can't really complain. It's just, man, like I keep saying, that Snow Brothers. That Snow Brothers, just like a slap in the face. Wish we could have got it, but I understand. It was never released in the U.S. So, hey, really do appreciate you guys. With that said... I will catch you guys next time. Share your comments down below. I read them all. Comment when I can. I try to stay engaged with you guys. How many other people just ignore comments? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm with you guys. So really do appreciate it. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.